everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I hope everybody's having a super awesome, awesome day today. Um, you know, whether it be in the morning, whether it be at night, you know, I'm just so glad that you're here with me and you're joining me today and I love clapping my hands. So I'm just going to let you guys <laughs> I'm doing these introductions. <laughs> I'm such a mess. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe. I'm a 50 year old makeup artist. I've been in the industry um, 30 plus years and I've worn many, many different types of hats and worked with many different companies. And, um, you know, in a couple months ago, I decided I wanted to do a YouTube channel. And so here I am and I am here serving you. So welcome with open arms. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're my old subscribers, you know that I just love you guys. You just, you just always make my day. And I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm blessed to have you in my life. So again, we're here just like a little family. We're all together. So my new, my old, we're all mixed together. So I'm just so happy you're here. So today we are actually doing a get ready with me. I'm doing this, um, you know, in honor of mothers today. Um, I wanted to do something kind of summery. I wanted to do something kind of bronzy, but kind of diva-like. Um, you know, I don't know. I've just kind of like had this idea in my head and I just wanted to do it. So here we are and we're going to do it and we're doing it with a bunch of products that are nothing new. There's nothing new in this video, really. Um, everything is just stuff that's older that I pulled out and, um, and I will go over that with you guys. But before I start, I just want to wish everyone a super, super happy Mother's Day. If you guys are watching this on Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to you, whether you be a mother, a daughter, a sister, a grandmother, a great grandmother, you know, bless you. And um, I appreciate you so much. And, um, you know, since this year, I do not have my mother with me this year. I lost my mother last year around this time frame. Well, actually, it was June. So, um, but this was actually my last um, weekend that I actually got to spend time with her. And I actually was not going to do this video today, guys, because um, it's just been a little hard for me this weekend. But you know what? I really decided that, you know, I was like, you know, I really feel like I need to do something for all my moms and, um all my people that are mothers or, you know, that have a mother or, you know, that, you know, even mothers that watch me or grandmothers that watch me, you know, I just feel like, you know, I just, I needed to give you guys something back. So this is my Mother's Day present to you guys. So I just thought um, we would do this and it would be fun to do it together. So so here we are. Um, you know, I'm trying my best not to focus on my mom. So I'm sure I'm probably not gonna hope that I won't talk about her too much or say anything. But I don't want this to be a sad video. I actually want this to be a fun video. So, um, so with that said, let's get started because we've got um, some stuff to do. I've done some already. Um, I've already done my brows. Um, I did that with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury pencil and I kind of like carved them out a little bit with the, the Kevin O'Quan Essential Enhancer. I've already done that and um and I also did um foundation. I did well I actually did a little Scott Barnes technique. So I actually took primer. I did my Huda priming water and I did my Huda um complexion in my T-zone and then what I did was I took my Danessa Myrex contour balm. I took a little bit of that and I just took it and kind of contoured around my face. Then I took the Huda stick, uh, since we did the Huda stick a little bit. Um, and this is in the shade 335B and I took it all over my skin and then I just blended it in with my uh, BK Beauty uh, brush and just kind of blended it over top of it. So I have contour underneath and around my jaw and everything. So I've done all that. And then I powdered it down with a little bit of the Gucci powder and then just a tad bit of the Lemire. I did a little bit of the Lemire loose powder. So we've kind of got a little head start. Oh, and I forgot about, I did this too, uh, when I did the contour. I did a little bit of this too with the, the four underneath my eyes, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and a little bit of this around the perimeters of my face just to kind of give it more of a glow. So if you see a radiance in it, the stick and that together kind of makes it look like that. Um, so anyway, I wanted to get a head start on it because I really wanted to do more of a focus on my eyes. Um, I also did, I curled my lashes a little bit and just did a little bit. I did lid primer and um, a little bit of, where did I put it? The Pat McGrath um, Black Coffee um, in, up in the inside up here and up underneath because I wanted to get that base done because it's so hard for me to do it on camera, guys. I'm not even telling you. It's like, it's just, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hot mess when I do that. That and lashes on camera is like, the people that do that are just like that. They're incredible because I, I can't do it so far. Maybe one of these days when I get better at it, I can do it. But right now I just, I can't <laughs> do it. So, so anyway, so I'm going to go from point A to point B. 
that we're going to go here. So we're going to go from this to this. Um, if you guys see my last video, I give you the reason why. So just letting you know why, why I do that. So I can see myself whenever I do my makeup. Because over here, I can't see anything. I'm just like, hi, over here. How are you doing? So anyway, so we're going to do it from here. So, um, so guys, we're going to do a bronzy look. So I picked out the two, there's two palettes I will be using in this tutorial or yeah, basically it's a tutorial. So I'm kind of going to call it a tutorial that will actually be in my playlist as a tutorial too. So that's probably what I'll do with it. But I'm going to do the Manny, um, or I would call it Manny. Again, I'm like, I call them by their, the people that created it. It's the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess color palette. Um, I wanted to pull her out because I haven't used her in a while, but it is just a stunning, beautiful bronzy palette. So I'm going to be using Hesta, which I've already got all over my lid right now. I'm going to be using Celine, this color here. Isn't that beautiful? Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that pretty? Um, and then I'm using Hera. We're going to use Hera. We're going to use that one. And then we are going to use the shade Rhea right here. So if you guys have any shades like that in your palette collection, which I'm sure you do, that will work perfect with it. And then I've got another palette and I will show you that in just a little bit when I've got, it's my Disney Cinderella palette and there's two blues in it that I'm gonna use on the top. So we'll, we'll I'll show it all together. But these are your four main colors that we will be using today. So just to give you that idea, I'll focus on just the color part of it and not all the complexion part. Um, if you guys ever wanna see me do like the, it's basically the Scott Barnes technique if you actually go on his um uh, if you go on his site, he actually has a, he just did a 2014 tutorial that he did with, um, uh, I think her, it's, it's uh, Lake, uh, Lakin, Lakin, um, Lakin is her name, uh, Lakin Romaine, she's so beautiful, she's gorgeous, but he does a look with her on it, and he shows you how he does his whole thing with J-Lo and all that, and he also did a video with Tati on it, if you ever want to go over and watch it, and it's really entertaining, actually, it's very good, um, it's very detailed, too, so you get to see a lot of that, but I kind of did that idea with the contour underneath and kind of blended it out and all that kind of stuff. So, so with that said, let's get started. So I'm going to start with um, the shade. Um, I've already done the white, the whiter shade all over my lid, but you can see. So we started with that one. So I'm going to tap now into Celine, which is the very, uh, the very orangey shade, and we're just going to go in. And you see, and now I can see what I'm doing. I just go in, and I'm kind of like more. I'm going to kind of go backwards and forwards and kind of pack this in like that. It's how pretty. It's like a beautiful, because I want that orangey pop. You know, I just really, really, you know, tap a little bit of this. Most of this, his palettes don't really have um, a lot of fallout, so you really don't have a problem with um, Lunar Beauty's uh, palettes. They're pretty, um, pretty, you know, they, they stay pretty well. Now, this one is not a matte, but it's just a really beautiful um, kind of a a metallic, but not over the top metallic, which you can see. It's just really, really pretty. Um, so I'm just gonna keep, I wanna take, keep packing that in there because I want this color to be a little bit on the intense side. Now you guys can kind of take this and not really, if you don't wanna do a really super bold, bold look with this, like if you don't wanna do the tight line under here, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. I just wanted it for a base to kind of give me a little ump to it because I'm gonna do that Rhea shade, that last shade, that, uh, I'm gonna do it and tap it over top of it to soften it some. But um, but definitely, I wanted it to kind of look a little bold. But this is all about a bronzy, beachy, washy look. So you can make it more natural, or you can make it a little bit more on the, the dramatic side. So I wanted the eyes to be the the focus. There was going to be a really not a super dramatic eye because I'm I, there's definitely been more dramatic eyes that I've done. But it is definitely going to be really really pretty, and I'm definitely going to do lashes with it too. So just to throw that out there. But you again, you don't have to do lashes. You can do some mascara. You. Can can make it a little bit more softer if you want. You could just make this your um, feature color and then maybe one of the other ones and call it a day. I'm just kind of going over if you just, and, you know, if you like this kind of a look and you want this, you know, you find it, you really think it's really pretty and you want to do it. I just thought you would, there, everybody has these kind of colors usually in their wardrobe. And, you know, instead of like telling you something, new, shopping your, my stash or whatever, so I just thought this would be fun and be not so, um, you know, not so all about newness, you know, because sometimes you just need, you've got so many really good things in your collection, you just want to use them, you know. So, I'm going to just kind of blend this in, and I'm just taking a little bit of my um, BK Beauty 202 brush, and I'm just kind of taking that, and we're just going to take it and kind of like, you know, blend it down a little bit. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we all kind of have that one eye that's not as strong as the other, unless you're just a supermodel. Um, but it's like, you know, but it, um, but you know, sometimes the one eye kind of wants to not be as dominant as one eye. This one is more dominant to me than this one. This one, this one's my problem and I have to kind of go over and beyond a little bit. So just throw that out there if you haven't. Two, eight, three, I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. It's just like a really beautiful goldish shade and I'm going to pack hair on the top. See, look at that, how beautiful that is. And my brush is just a little damp because I actually wiped it off a little bit on a damp towel, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be a tad bit damp. I'm gonna go back and tap into Celine just a little bit more, which is the orangey shade. And we're gonna build that up just a tad bit more now that I got that on the lid. Tell you guys that. I've done the foundation and everything. I've done everything up to here. I haven't done anything concealer underneath but in case we had any fallout or whatever. Um, I just wanted it to be really easy to clean and I didn't want to have to do that. And, um, you know, and I thought about doing tape today. I was going to do um, one of my tape today. I was going to do that. But, you know what, I just like, you know what, that'll make me too, I want to do it too dramatic if I do that. And I, I don't want to go that route. Um, so I'm going to take my BK Beauty 204 and we're going to dip into um, Araya, which is the darker shade. Um, which is that darker um, autumn shade. And I'm going to take it and we're going to go right in here. And I'm going to smudge this color here. I'm going to get my compact. Let's pull out Charlotte Tilbury. You know, nothing is like Mother's Day without a little Charlotte Tilbury in your in your hand. You have to have a little bit. And I'm just going to take it and kind of smudge it over that coffee. So we're just kind of like smoothing out that color a little bit. So it's not so... Um, it's not so like a blacky brown color. See how pretty that is? Just smoothed out. And now I'm just going to take this and kind of smudge it. And we're not going to really add any more. I'm just going to keep blending that up in here. Just like that. See? See how that goes? So we just kind of like took it right from here and just did it right up into here. That's it. That's all we did. Boom. And then, you know, we'll clean up that and stuff underneath, but don't worry about that. We'll get that later. Um, but it is, a, I mean, I really do love his palette. I mean, he's got Lunar, uh, Manny did some really, he does a beautiful job with Lunar Beauty. 102, uh, 201, I'm sorry, 201. And it looks like this with the light shade. We're just going to take just a little bit of that. Kind of see, you know, so she's a little powdery, but we're just going to blend that down just a tad. Just to kind of blend it together. I'm going to take it over here, too, so I can get a really smooth look with it. Because we don't want it to be over the top. See how pretty that is? See, I just like, see how like I just softened it? It softened it down some, so it's not... Now, you can keep it the dramatic way. If you want to keep that, you can definitely keep it. And, you know, I don't know, but who knows? By the time I get the lashes, you never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> By the time I get the lashes, I'll be like, oh, you know what? I need a little bit more. <laughs> I'll be pulling out a Tati like I did, like I told uh, earlier in one of my videos. I forgot which one it was, but I was talking about Tati and how she would start off with like one little shadow or something. Be like, oh, I'm going to be natural. And then by the end, she's got glitter and more liner and she dirt <laughs> big lashes. <laughs> she's got this really dramatic look because she just can't help herself. That would be me because I get so excited and they get so into the makeup that um, I'm going to just a little bit more of that. Just go back in and blend that a little bit more. But um, I get so excited and I get so into it that I just, you know, I can't help myself. I just, I, cause I love playing with it. It's just so much fun. This is so much fun to me. When I get to do stuff like this and create, I love it. It's not that I don't like doing reviews. I do, but I just really, really like creating and it's just, it's a, it's a lot of fun to me. So I just really enjoy it. Okay. So now that I got that done, we are going to do, we're going to do a blue. Now in the, in the, this palette, there is a blue, but it's not the blue that I want. So we're going to, we're going to pass over the Manny and we're going to Cinderella. Ah! So we're like, if you guys ever saw my Cinderella video, it's like, a t I tell the story of Cinderella in the video and Epic Quest Beauty, she does a really good job. If you guys ever go over her channel, she's the cutest thing ever and she's so funny and she does such a great job. She does a lot of TikTok videos and little short videos and stuff like that. Well, she does these little book reads too. 
Um, and she did like Snow White. She's done a couple little ones that she's done. But um, I did Cinderella. I mean, it was just because I got the, the Disney palette. And I just thought Cinderella, while I was doing it, would be great. Um, so I just kind of did it. But um, it was a really, really fun video. But if you guys didn't see the video, this is what it looks like. So it's got the shadows here. It's got highlighters here. And then it has blush here. It is a gorgeous palette. When I did this look with this, the it was just absolutely stunning. You can see the color, and the colors are all beautiful. Prince Charming, Cinders, Miracle Royal, Anastasia, Lucifer, Fairy Godmother, all these really, really beautiful oh. names. And Drizella together. So if you have any of these colors, we're gonna do these two together. So I'm gonna blend them together. I'm gonna kind of dampen my brush a little bit. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to tap a little bit into Drizella and then a little bit in Nightingale and go backwards and forwards. And we're kind of going to do that. And I'll have to have a mirror for this. And we're going to start here at the top. And because I'm doing fake lashes and I have to do a black liner, I'm going to have to make it a little thicker. So you can see it when I put the lashes on. So I'm gonna have to go like midway up my lid. Now, if you've got a really big lid, you won't have to do that. You won't have to do it at all. I mean, if you've got a really a really nice size lid or if you've got a, a wide eye and you have enough space, you won't have to do that. But I'm gonna have to really do it in order to see it. And then I'm gonna keep building it till I get the color that I want. And I'm not really taking it all the way up because I still want my gold to be there, but I want the blue to be the pop. And when I do lashes, you're not going to see a lot of the, you're going to see more of the lash and less of the blue if I don't make it packed down a little bit. But like that. See how pretty? And see how it just gives this little hue of like a little pop of a Mediterranean look? That's what I wanted. Yes, ma'am. Shout out adhesive. The adhesive in the Glamnetic lashes is a, is a black. Um, and when you put it on, it like it's it's pretty dominant. And you have to do it a little thick for the lashes to stick. Because if you don't, it won't stick. So you have to, I'm gonna have to go, had to go up a little bit over and beyond that just to make it you know work. But the thing is, is with the Glamnetic, is you can't have. Like if you, once you get your shadow on, you have to do it over it. If you put any shadow or any um, topper over it, the lashes will not stick. So if it, you get any on that liner, the lashes will not stick at all. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But I'm just building this up and then I'll go off camera and I will do the other eye. But I wanted you guys to see this before I get finished with it. And then we will, okay. See how pretty that is? Now, what I will do is once I get the liner on, I'll do some inner corner before we do the lashes because I'll put the, the um, adhesive on. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to finish doing this and then I'll, I'll, the other eye with the blue and then I will do the adhesive for the lash glue and I will come back on and we'll do inner corner together. So, be right back. Okay, everybody, so I am back. So this is what it looks like. How beautiful is this? It's so pretty. Um, I put the lashes on, um, you know, those glamnetic lashes, man. Let me tell you something. You put them on and they, feel, you can feel them. Like you can feel how secure they are. They just, they stay on so good. They're such good lashes. I mean, really, really love those. I definitely recommend those. If you guys want some really good lashes, Goodbye it. So it's a little pricey at first, but they're definitely worth it if you ever want lashes. And these are the Venus, but you can definitely get ones that are a little bit more, and I've used these already like three or four times. You can definitely get ones that are a little bit more subtle if you don't want this kind of a look. But um, what do you think? Isn't it beautiful? It looks so pretty. So pretty. I really love it. So what I did was, I just want to tell you one thing I did add. I did, ended up did adding an, one extra shadow, of course. You know I did. So I added the shade Gus in the Cinderella palette is this shade here. So I took that like a little bit of a highlighty shade right in the inner corners to give it a little bit more of a pop. And then lips, I will go over in just a little bit. I wanted them to set on just a little bit. It's just lip liner. 
but I wanted to go ahead and give them some shape and let it dry down before we do the lipstick or the gloss. So I just went ahead and did it and, and did that. So we are going to do bronzer and bling and um, my, <laughs> my bling. We're going to do bronzer, bling, and blush all together. So I'm going to do a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. So we're going to go in, because I did contour before I did my foundation, but we're going to do the Charlotte Tilbury in the airbrush. It is in the airbrush bronze in the shade three. Um, so I'm going to take it with a little bit of my BK Beauty brush in 104, and we're just going to take it and tap it slightly into that. And I'm just going to start up here at the forehead and just lightly start to bronze a little bit and then bring it down over where the contour was. I'm just kind of buff that into the cheekbone a little bit because this is a bronzy look, so it's all about bronze. So, um, I hope you guys aren't mad at me that I didn't come on camera and do the um, the last part, I mean, you know, and the, or the lip liner part, because um, I just thought it just it takes me so long to do my lips because I like them to be so perfect that it takes me a while. So I'm like, mm, it's like you know, oh, I just love this bronzer. It's such a good bronzer. I'm gonna take a little bit over my nose and then I'm gonna swirl it over here because I like it to look just like you, the sun has hit it. I'm just kind of blend it in and we're just doing little buffing strokes into it because I kind of want it to look more sunny and not too like more blushy. I want it to look more sunny. So we're going to take a little bit just above the brow and I don't want it to be too much highlight here. I don't want to take too much up underneath it, but I don't want it to look like white circles underneath. And if you guys want to know um, what I did, I'm going to take a little bit by my lip. Um, if you really want to know, I did, um, as far as concealer, I mixed the um, Kevin O'Quan Sensual Enhancer, and this is in the shade, I have it in the shade 9, and I mixed just a little bit of my um, Chanel in the Rose Corrector. I mixed a little bit in together. The if you guys have ever used the Kevin O'Quan, it is an amazing, um, it's like if you're, you ever, I think everybody needs this in their collection, because it is like, when I tell you like super, look at that, super coverage, super like, I mean, in one drop, like a drop, and you can mix it with moisturizer, anything you want. And it is like, it's concealer, it's foundation, it's everything in one. It is an amazing product, but you need a pen. I'm telling you, it's a pen. It covers so well. It's major coverage. When um, Kevin Aquan was alive, that was his, he only carried that product with him. That was it. He didn't carry any other product with him. He didn't carry concealers and all that other stuff. He only carried that. That was his product. That's what he used. He just used that and that was it. I mean, that was his concealer, his foundation, body makeup, everything all in one. So it is a really super amazing product. And if you guys, um, I've never tried it. Um, it's just trying to find your shade or what you want to use it for. Because some people use it for contour. Some people use it for, you know, actual concealer. So it just depends on what you're, or you, some people use it for foundation. I only have the one color. I used to have a couple different shades. Um, but I really just like that one color and I'm happy with it. So, I mean, because it's like, that's what I use a little bit. And if I want to use, I just use a little bit of a lighter concealer and mix it with it. If I want just a little lightness, more lightness underneath. But yeah, it's just really, really super Coming pretty. through. And I put a little bit more powder on while I was off camera. So, I mean, it, was, it definitely, um, you know, it's coming, my skin comes through. But that's a Hollywood Flawless Filter, man. I'm telling you, this liquid flawless filter. Now, I love my Auric, too. Don't get me wrong. I love it, too. But this product, man, is, again, it's like the Kevin O'Quan. It's a staple. You just can't go wrong with it. You, you can't, you literally cannot go wrong with it. It's the Body Bling Pave Powder. And this one is in the original shade. And I'm going to take a little bit of my cap. And it's like, if I just show you guys what it is. If you've got something like it at home, it looks a little bit like that. So, it's a little shimmering. So, I mean, not that we, I mean, you know, I can't glow enough. I mean, I'm like, I'm like him. I mean, I'm, I'm all about like, I'm just like Scott. I'm like, you know, you can't never bling enough. That, that's for sure. So, we're going to take it and we're going to go over that bronzer. And it's got a little, it's got a bronziness to it too. And we're going to tap that over it to give it this really beachy super glowy look to the skin. Glowy and hoey. Glowy and showy. Glowy and hoey. <laughs> Whichever one you want to be, showy or glowy <laughs> or hoey. Oh my God. Into my favorite blush. If you guys don't have this blush for spring, 
you just, you have to have it. It's just, it's so perfect. This is the Natasha Denona. It's called the Highlighting Bloom Blush because it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. But man, it is just stunning. It's so pretty. So I'm going to take a little bit again with the same brush. Now I want to show you, look at that. Look at that pigment, the pigment in it. And I want to do it. Watch it. Watch. See, it almost gives you like a highlight and a blush together. It is beautiful. It is the perfect coral shade, especially if you have a medium to tan skin or like a darker skin tone and you want this really beautiful, glowy, um, peachy look to the skin. It is just, oh, it's so pretty. And I just like that really fleshy look. I'm gonna take a little bit here. And there because again we're, we're you know we're getting kissed by that sun we're being the goddess you know we're out on the beach we're just feeling it the winds in our hair this that we're the sand all in our crotch i mean it's just all good you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know i love it in movies you know they always make it look so um Romantic, and it does. You know, when you see it in movies, you see the romantic scenes and stuff on the beach, and they're in the water, and they're on the sand, and they're kissing, and I mean, they're all of that. I mean, can you? I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever been intimate or on romantic on the beach, and you know, and I'm gonna give away to FYI here, but let me just tell you, it is not. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> you have to be careful. You know, there'll be some places that you don't want sand. <laughs> it's not what it looks like in the movies. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so um, we'll wait and do highlight in a minute. Because, you know, of course, I know you're probably thinking, why are you doing highlight? You already have so much bling on your face. Why are you doing it? Because I'm a blingy kind of person. I'm, I'm glowy and hoey. So, <laughs> I feel like I need some more. <laughs> so, anyway, on my lips. So, what I did was I did the um, I did the Scott Barnes. It's in the shade Christy. I did his lip liner. So, I did around my edges with it because it's a little bit more darker. Then, I did the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And, I went in and I kind of blended it in with that liner. And, then, this is the the way that it looks. So I wanted it to dry down so I could put the stuff on top of it. So we're gonna use the uh, Scott Barnes, it's called Lovesick. It's and it's another one that was in my collection, by the way. So I'll show you what it looks like. So if you have a gloss that's similar to it, it's like a bronzy, really beautiful bronzy gloss. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have one, but we're just gonna put it right over that liner. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Honey, that is some peach goodness. Mmm. Or, or should I say beach goodness? Bum, bum, bum. Mmm. <laughs> they smell so good. They smell, oh, they're out of this world. And they're so creamy. And, um, you know what they remind me of, though? They remind me a little bit of the Tom Ford. That's what they remind me of. Time for glosses. I mean, I'm not sure that Scott would probably agree with that, but I mean, that's just my two cents. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so pretty. Wow. Okay. Okay. So let me do, I mean, now I'm going to do just a tad bit of unicorn panties. It's like another, it's a fun color. It's like a really pretty, I'll put it up above it, but it's like a, you can see it. It's kind of like, it looks like a little bit of a purpley kind of a shade over it. So I'm going to take a little bit of it right in the center. I don't want to change it too much. But I just want to add a little up to that right there in the center to make it a little bit more. Mmm. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, wow. That is so pretty. It's gorgeous. So, I'm going to go back over it with just a little bit of my La Mer powder. Carve about my cheek bone just a tad bit more with just a little bit of this powder. I'm not going crazy with carve it out a little bit because I can. And I want to because I'm feeling glowy and hoey. <laughs> not this is the older formula. It's not the new formula. Um, so this one is more. It's just more prettier. Um, the the newer formula is it's okay. It's not it's not the best, but it's all right. They'll just sharpen that out. See, so just sharpen it up a little bit and smooth that out a little bit more. And that's what I want. Last but not least, we got some bling. We got a little bit more bling. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the Scott Barnes highlighter. Um, and this is my Shimmering Nights again. That was in the kit. 
Um, you know, I don't know. These are very similar to the ones that he has in his uh, highlighter palette. So if you guys ever want to check out his highlighter palette, it's really, really awesome. So I have a little bit of a, my fan brush here. It's my Morphe. It's just a regular old fan brush. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna mix, I'm like mixing into both of them. And we're just going to tap right in there. Ooh. Oh. Slap me. Somebody slap me. Oh, so pretty. Oh, hey, Chloe and Hoey, hey. Look a little bit down through here. Oh, that is just, this, I'm telling you, it's something about his highlight, I don't know, what the heck. It just looks so stunning. Mm. I see why J-Lo likes, <laughs> she's like, bling me up, buddy. And that's what he does, wow, because it is just so beautiful. Right. I mean, I have not seen the setting spray. And I could tell you how long, but it is the Smashbox and Velada. It's the Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. When this spray came out, guys, I was so obsessed with it that I got like, I have like, I had like four of them. Like I bought like advanced, cause it was a limited edition. Cause it's not, it's not around anymore. But let me just show you just an idea of kind of spray it. And look, look how beautiful, at least this beautiful shimmery. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty on how it makes your skin look. So I'm just gonna take just a tad bit. I'm not gonna do a lot because I've already got quite a bit and I'm just gonna spray it. The only thing is, is the sprayer is a little, she's a little out of control. She gets a little crazy because it kind of sprays out a little bit, but I'm just gonna take it and pat just a little bit over this just to set it down just a tad close. How beautiful and smooth it looks. It looks really smooth. Doesn't feel any, sorry. I shaved earlier this morning, but I went to work and I'm just coming back and doing this. So but look how beautiful that is. It's just stunning. So beautiful. So let me know what you guys think about this. What do you think? Did you like this little bronze look? Do you like me doing these kind of sort of things? You know, let me know if you kind of want to do more of a in-depth. I mean, I'm sorry I did the foundation off screen, but I just felt like it was going to be long enough just showing you the shadow and everything because, you know, that takes time. And then, I mean, God, if I did the whole thing and you guys saw everything, you would be like, Lord, how mercy he's taking forever. But um, it really doesn't have to take forever, guys. I mean, you can shorten this and make it your own. You really don't have to do all of this stuff. So it's really not, it's not something that you have to do. You can just do a little bit of the one shadow and, and some mascara and go. You really don't need to do all this. I just thought I would show you like what it looks like if you did it to the hilt, but you definitely don't have to do that. But, um, but yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. It looks so pretty. I love the way it looks. It looks really, really awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna be, be out of here, guys. You know, again, I wish you guys all, if, you, if you're watching this on Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to you. I'm so, so, um, so happy for you. Hope you have a really, really good day with your family or your friends. It really, um, and you know, and cherish everybody that you have around you because every day makes a difference. Um, you know, if it's not Mother's Day and you just kind of hanging out with me, then I hope you enjoyed this. And if you didn't, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you because. <laughs> If you step down it, you just don't like it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, um, anyway, guys, be safe, be strong, um, be proud, stand tall, and most of all, you know, be nice to people. You know, a little kindness goes a long way. And you know, take care, and we will see you guys again in the next episode. So bye, peace out.